Well, they are joining together and using their talents to give a voice to veterans who suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, and they're doing it through film. You probably remember the name Jeremy Ray Taylor. He's been in big movies like It and Goosebumps 2, but for this project, he will be behind the camera instead of in front of it. He joins us this morning along with writer Christopher Kaiser and cinematographer Benjamin Taylor. And great to have all three of you with us. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. to be here. Well, this is certainly a big project something a little bit different for you. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how this all got started. Ooh, that's a long story. Um, we've been kind of wanting to do this thing for a really, really long time, but we've just never really known how to. Uh -huh. um, and then Christopher, out of nowhere, decided he wanted to be a writer and actor. Um, and we've all kind of been dabbling in this, in this idea of doing our own production company, but finally Christopher gave us the final push, and, and now we're rolling, baby. We're rolling, baby, yeah, we're and rolling, next baby. week is going to be a huge week, and you guys have so many different stories on top of stories with this. Your siblings, you grew up together, you've been in different movies, you're a veteran as well. Tell me a little bit about why you decided to get this, this writing going and, and continue with the project. Well, a big part of it was, you know, uh, the veteran community is very close to me where I served in the Navy, and, uh, and all of these people should have a voice. And, 22 veterans a day approximately kill themselves from suicide. And that's something that's such a huge number and that no one's talking about. And it needs to come to light. And so when we, when we came together and we wrote this script, uh, what we really wanted to do is give that voice uh, to those suffering from PTSD and open that door communication between the civilian world and the veteran world. So you just never know who's struggling, whether they were in the military or not. You could be sitting beside someone who's you know, going through a battle in their mind and our whole film is just made specifically to open up that door where we can, where they can have a voice, you know. So with your writing, I'm guessing you're pulling bits and pieces from your experiences as well, meeting other veterans and being there and being immersed in it. Yeah. Uh, so I never served in combat myself. I was on, I was stationed on the ship, um, but as it comes to veterans, I mean, anybody who signed on that line to join the military, you don't know what cards you're going to get dealt. I mean, and so every one of those people. Uh, should have all of our respect for even just getting themselves out there and, and, and signing up to serve our country. And so um, a lot of the story comes from, uh, you know, people I've met and, um, and just, I mean, all of them have such a distinct story. Mm -hmm. uh, so we really wanted to bring that to light. So. So you three join in together. You're doing the cinematography yes, work on it. Mm -hmm. We've got some pictures of already things kind of happening. And next week, you guys are bringing local cast members together, and, and you're really going to get started, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've always wanted to be a director, um, and that a big inspiration for me to do that was actually the director of IT. Um, he's such an amazing guy, and, and he made it seem so fun, so why not try it for myself? Um, and then he's, he's always been a great cinematographer, and, and we've kind of dabbled in, he's, he made some music videos and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So we all have so many different talents and, and knowledge of the industry. So to come together and, and make the perfect team is, is our goal. And doing everything pretty much locally, I understand. Yeah, um, it's actually really insane how many people want to be doing productions here. Mm -hmm. from, from digging so hard around here, so many people want to do big things like this but it's so hard in such a small town so that's also something that wanna, we want to bring light to is like you can do it anywhere. Mm -hmm. And you're actually going to be doing some of the filming right here in the Tri-Cities in yeah. and around. It's the all mainly filmed here so. So the, the terrain did that work well for what you were kind of riding was there was it just kind of an obvious choice when you look at the surroundings here? Yeah I mean there's there's so many diverse uh, environments throughout the world and um, a lot of building sets and things like that has to do with uh, you know seeing the terrain in some of these places and building it to that. So you know we we also we live on a hundred acre farm, so we have a lot of places where we can you know dig in and make in uh, some really realistic combat situations. And uh, and also there's so many office buildings and things around here where uh, people want to be a part of what we're doing. Uh, so it's been it's been awesome. And Benjamin, you ready to go to work next week? Yes, I am. Uh, we got a lot of preparation. Uh, we're all working really hard to get everything finalized and we're coming up with shot lists and finishing up all of our uh, the, the script and we're just finally getting it started so we're excited. And you're also doing the premiere at the Pinnacle so people can yeah. kind of stay tuned for that. Yeah so that'll be like April, April right? Yeah so April-ish we're gonna do 
or into the whole red carpet experience, that's actually an incentive to contribute on our Seed and Spark. Um, we haven't actually hit our budget yet, so we're really trying to raise about $18,000 for this, which sounds like a lot, but it's actually ultra low budget for a short film like this. Um, so if you want to join us on the red carpet screening, go on Seed and Spark and, and you can see how. How great is that? So yeah. they can go ahead and check it out. They're looking for support, funding, any way yeah. you can contribute. Going to be really neat to see what yeah. you guys come up with. Thanks so much for joining yeah, us thank today. Thank you for having us. What a wonderful project. Again, if you would like to be part of it, here is that website where you can go to for more information on how you can support them and veterans in their endeavor. We'll be right back.